Assemble! Stay dandy, baby. Miss Nagatoro. What a bitch. That's right, my friends. The brand new hot bullying fetish anime of the season is officially here. It's Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Yes, it's going to be one of those type of anime series. If you're a glutton for punishment, this might be the show for you. If you like to be stripped bare, covered in honey, and then have a big old pile of fire ants thrown onto your body, this might be the show for you. This one is going to be interesting. I don't even know why I'm even talking about this anime series. I've gotten a couple of requests to talk about it, and typically this is not my type of show. I didn't fall into this trap in the last season with that other show, which was called Uzaki-chan, which was basically all about this young anime girl who basically just bullied and tortured someone one, and that's pretty much what this entire show is all about. You have to be a very certain type of anime fan to appreciate the absolute dumpster fire that is Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I mean, it features what is quite possibly one of the most annoying anime characters of all time. Could someone kill this bitch with a baseball bat? But I digress, let's go ahead and talk about this brand new anime series, which I think is equal parts good and equal parts bad. Let's talk about the good first. This is a really great looking anime series. It features great, super distinctive character design, some amazing use of color, and some of the best voice acting that I've ever heard. While I do not like the main character of the series, Nagatoro, she does have a fantastic voice, which is just so freaking infectious and evil. The main male lead, Naoto, is actually voiced by the same guy who does Deku's voice in My Hero Academia, and it's so perfectly appropriate for his character because he's such an introverted wimp. And the fact of the matter is, the guy who does Deku's voice is just really perfect at that. And that and the fact that the entire series overall, including the backgrounds and the shadowing and everything else, just looks fantastic. The character expressions alone are side-splittingly hilarious, most of which actually come from Nagatoro herself who is just so insanely evil it's her eyes it's her mouth it's her voice everything about her expressions are nothing short of amazing but now let's talk about the bad it's not necessarily bad unless you're into this sort of thing, but Nagatoro is a character who really gets under my skin. And maybe that's the intention. Maybe that's the point. They want you to hate this character. Her entire purpose in the show is simply just to fuck with Naoto. Like, that's it. She's just there to bully him and make him feel like shit. And what's even more disturbing about all of this is that what she's doing, she knows about it. She is fully aware that she is being a total thunder cunt to Naoto throughout the entire first episode. But she totally gets off on all of it. And why this is the case, I have no idea. Basically, the entire premise of the show is it introduces Naoto, who's an introverted student, who's a fan of drawing manga. And he hates a certain type of person, which are these females, which basically just never even give him the time of day. Except for this one student who goes by the name of Nagatoro, who somehow gets invested in his life. She mocks the fact that he draws manga and makes fun of the fact that he inserts himself into his very own stories, portraying himself as something of a white knight, while in real life, Basically, he's just a total fucking wimp. She plays with this. She pokes with this. She fucking drives this guy crazy. And she does not hold back at all. She gets so much enjoyment out of basically crushing this dude's heart to the point where she quite literally makes him cry. And what makes us even sadder is the fact that she is a first year student and he is the superior. He's like the second year sophomore here. This is like a freshman bullying a sophomore. And it's just so hard to watch, to be perfectly honest. I mean, while watching this, I was just cringing and slinking back into my seat the entire time, waiting for him to eventually explode on her. And it never happened. I mean, there's the whole first scene of the episode where she's messing with him and the manga and everything. And then there's a whole second half where she basically just gives him a lot of shit for the fact that he's in this art club and she wants him to draw her. And unlike the scene from Titanic, it goes in a completely different direction. He actually does a pretty good job of drawing her. But again, she teases him with the fact that if he does a good job, she's going to give him a reward, making it seem as if she's going to kiss him. This does not end up working out, and she just uses this as another excuse to rip his heart out. 
it's just messed up. And the episode ends with trying to give us a little bit of lightheartedness where she psychs him out yet again by saying that she wants to go out with him. This is just another trick. She ends up pushing him into the river. And instead of getting super pissed off and basically just telling this girl off, he says that he doesn't necessarily hate her. Naoto spent his entire life basically being bullied by everyone but he's never been bullied by a girl before, or at least one that's even mildly interested in him, and I guess maybe he's holding on for hope for the fact that there could be some sort of form of friendship here, or maybe he can use this excuse as a way to grow as a person. It's very obvious where this series is going. Nagatoro is the type of character who at first is going to just completely wreck this dude's world, and eventually she's probably going to fall in love with him, but it's probably not going to happen all at once. Rome was not built in a day, and boy, this empire's gonna going to take a long time to build. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those shows that you just have to be a certain type of anime viewer to actually enjoy. And yet, I'm so conflicted with it. I absolutely love the production value of this show, the look of the characters, the look of the backgrounds, the amazing detail of things. This type of show should not have production value this good. Basically, at this point, if I continue to watch, it's just to see the amazing character expressions from everybody, whether it's Naoto himself or Nagatoro, who continues to steal pretty much every scene that she's in with her creepy expressions and her eyes. Her eyes might be the most horrifying thing about her, but you just can't look away. It's a train wreck in slow motion, and that might be the best way to actually describe this show. So, what's the rundown on the first episode of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro? I don't know if I'm going to continue to review this anime series, but I got a number of DMs about this and people telling me that I should check it out, despite the fact that I've never really been a big fan of this type of genre. I'm not big into the whole slice-of-life comedy thing. Occasionally I will look at them, and I have seen a number of them, but I'm not really into the whole fetish bully anime kind of thing. I don't know. To me, it's just really hard to watch. And this episode was just like that, but... I'll be damned if it didn't feature great production value, and as someone who's watched a lot of fucking Japanese cartoons, I appreciate when things are done really well. And things are done really well in this show. It's just a shame that the main character of the series is a total fucking asshat. I, I'm not really sure where the show is going to go, and I'm not sure if it's going to have any finality to it. It's all apparently based on a manga series, which is pretty popular with people, but I'm really just not sure where the series is going to go or even if it's going to be worth seeing at the end of the day. I do know that this is going to be a controversial anime series. I'm just calling it right now. It seems like the type of show that the Twitter sphere is going to have an absolute shit fest over and it's probably going to be for all of the wrong reasons. Look, you could argue that this is a bad and toxic show for the fact that it features a main character who is essentially a bully. But the fact of the matter is, she was made to be that way. That was the intention of the entire series. I think the entire show was made to get under people's skin. Maybe that's how the original manga was. I can't wait to see how people are actually going to take this if it ends up being a hit, if it ends up being something that's not going to be all that popular. But again, like I said, I have a feeling that the Twitter sphere is probably going to freak out over this one, and it's going to be very divisive amongst people. Whether this show is for you or not really just depends on you as a person. You just need to see the episode for yourself. I am completely and totally conflicted on the first episode. From a production value standpoint, I'm willing to give the episode a 4 out of 5 simply for how good the characters look and they're just fucking amazing expressions, not to mention the fantastic voice acting. I can't stress that enough. I love good voice acting in an anime series. I love when characters have a very distinctive voice to them. I hate hearing the same kind of thing every single time. And I think as anime goes on, one of the best things about it are the voices themselves. And, and they make the series all the more unique. But really, that's all I have to say about the show. I don't know if I'm going to review more or not, but like I said, I got enough requests about this one to actually talk about it, but uh, there it is. That's my thoughts on the first episode. It was interesting. If I could give the first episode a score, maybe a 3 out of 5. A lot of that is mostly owed to the actual animation and the artwork itself, which was surprisingly solid. And I have to admit, there were a few moments that were kind of funny. But for the most part... It just features a very interesting main character who is just a total bitch. But that's my thoughts on the episode. I want to hear yours. Sound off in the comment section below and tell me what you thought about the first episode of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Is this going to be the show for you? 
Are you turned off by the character who is just a total jerk the entire time? Or are you simply just a glutton for punishment and you want to be whipped like a good little boy? Tell me why in the comments section below and what you hope to potentially see from this show or if it's going to blow up. Otherwise, that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching this review. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. If you did like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Leave it a like. I'd really appreciate it. I'd also like to take this time to thank all my patrons. You guys are frigging incredible. Thank you so much for continuing to support the channel by watching it and giving me monthly donations. Remember, first-time donators, I'll review an anime series of your choosing, as well as adding your name to this list of amazing people that you currently see on screen. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. I'll see you all next time. And as always, stay dandy, baby.